Hello, it's good to be with you again. I wanted to talk today about how fear can hold us back. Um, recently, I've been going through quite a few changes, and it really is a huge manifesting time right now with the universe, with the planets and the alignment of the planets. And we're all being pushed out of our comfort zone. I'm sure several of you have been feeling it. And to be honest, it, it has been very uncomfortable for me for probably the past year. Things have been building. And fear truly was holding me back from making any big changes. And I would say probably about a year ago, my feet started hurting. And both of my feet started hurting terribly. And over time, week by week, month by month, it just seemed like they were getting worse and worse. So probably a couple of months ago, I had a conversation with uh, my boyfriend, Michael, who I have lived with for the past six years. And I was talking to him, you know, he knew that I was having this feet pain. And I never went to the doctor for it because I I just didn't feel that that was the answer, to be honest. Um, I did a meditation where I tuned in and asked my feet what they were trying to tell me. And even before I did this meditation, I was taking a walk with Michael, actually, around a, a local lake there where we lived. And I told him, I think my feet hurt because I feel very stuck. I feel stuck in all areas of my life right now. And I know people go, oh my God, you're stuck. And I, I mean, we all get stuck and we're all nudged to move forward. So even though I was feeling stuck and my feet were hurting and my body started feeling, um, I didn't know how to explain it, just fatigued and I just kept feeling more and more um, uneasy restless, like I needed to do something. So I had this conversation with Michael and I told him how, um, you know, my feet had been hurting and I really felt like my, I was, it's because I was feeling stuck. So I went to this retreat and it was an amazing retreat put on by Dr. Brian Weiss. And for those of you that don't know who that is, he is, I call him the past life regression guru. He's the one that pretty much figured out that we have been here more than once, more than this time around. So I went to this retreat and he did meditations and past life regressions and even um, progressions all through the week. And during one of the meditations, he had us focus on any area of our body that was bothering us, that was hurting us. And so I focused on my feet and he said, just choose one, you know, one body part. And I chose my feet. And so we went into this meditation and asked, you know, where we were guided to ask our body or I was asking my feet, what are you trying to tell me? You know, what is the message? Because our bodies are giving us message messages all the time. They are letting us know what is and isn't working. So as I did this meditation and I focused on my feet, all I got was I could just see that my feet, it was almost like they had concrete blocks on them or something, and they were so heavy. And that's where the pain was coming from because I was not moving forward. I was staying in my comfort zone. And my comfort zone, although it was very comfortable, was not where I was supposed to be any longer. And... That was just one of those moments when I had a huge epiphany. I knew what I needed to do. And so I came home from that retreat. And I took a couple of weeks to just really tune in and meditate and ask for guidance. And I decided that I had to leave the comfort zone. I had to leave all of my comfort zone. And so I made a very difficult decision to leave my relationship of six years. And it was extremely difficult because I absolutely loved this man. I still love him to this day. 
But I wasn't truly happy. I mean, like I told him, he's a great guy, I'm a great girl, but we're just not great together. It's good most of the time, and it's okay sometimes. It's bad sometimes. But it was never great. And I'm just not willing to settle anymore because I know that we are born for greatness. We all have soulmates and friendships and all of these, these um, connections that are available to us when we decide that that is what we want and we are not going to settle anymore. So... I decide to leave the relationship, and I'm really surprised I'm not crying about it. That just means that I have already started my healing because this is very fresh, and it just happened um, in the last week. <laughs> so I put all of my things in storage and moved into my brother's um, family's home with them in New York for a little while while I wait for my next step. Now, I know that sounds crazy. It sounded crazy to me when I decided to do it because I was leaving my home of six years, I was leaving my relationship of six years, and I was leaving the area that I have lived in in over 12 years. But when I say that my body was giving me messages, I mean, I am not kidding. It wasn't, I realized it wasn't just my feet. I was feeling fatigued all the time. I was feeling restless. I was getting sad, and I was getting angry. And I realized that it's because I needed a huge change and I was being asked to take a leap of faith. So as I began to make this decision and I told Michael and we began moving my things, you know, I would just ask every day, please give me signs that I am doing the right thing. I know that I am supposed to take this leap of faith. It has been so long since I, I took one. And, you know, leaps of faith are just that. It's a leap. Otherwise, you know, is it really faith if we're not willing to take a step or even make a jump without knowing the next step? And so I tell, I tell you this story today. I want to point out one thing. When I told Michael that I was leaving and that I needed to leave him the area and I just needed to, just a fresh start, something. I needed to leave to get some clarity. The day that I told him that, my feet stopped hurting. They have not hurt me since I decided that. And I am still, like, it floors me because they have been hurting for over a year. So that right there was validation of I was stuck. I was scared to change anything. Even though I was happy sometimes, you know, content most of the time, um, I knew I was, you know, I knew there's so much more out there and that I needed to make, take a leap, a huge leap. So the day that I decided to do that, my body stopped hurting. I mean, I got more energy. The fatigue stopped. I stopped um, feeling depressed and angry. I mean, granted, I, I had, you know, I did cry for several days after leaving, but it was releasing, you know, it was releasing a lot. Crying is releasing. I was releasing the relationship with Michael, and I believe I was releasing that area that I lived in. Um, so I cried for a few days, and then one day, honestly, was pretty hysterical. My brother and, and sister-in-law, they just sat there and watched me and, you know, gave me support, but it was necessary. It was a necessary shift. So I am recording this video without knowing my next step. But I am recording it in confidence and in true faith, knowing that God has a plan for me. And that as long as I continue to move forward, even if I don't know what's coming next, I just follow the guidance and I do as I am intuitively guided, even if it scares the heck out of me that I will be led. So let me be an example for you. Maybe this isn't, you know, what I did isn't the leap that you need to take, but it may, listen to your body. Your body is giving you messages. What is your body telling you? If you're having aches and pains, headaches, fatigue, any, whatever, I mean, we're really not 
we're not supposed to have that. We're supposed to be feeling great. And so if you're having that, I would suggest that you put on some very calming, soothing music and you just tune in and ask your body what it's trying to tell you. Quiet your mind and just tune in and your body will let you know, whatever it is. And then if you get messages like I did, begin to ask your, your angels and guides to help you make those changes. I did it every single day. I asked them to give me strength and confidence and courage to do what I needed to do. And they did. I mean, I was moving my things and crying every second and packing and crying. But it's what I needed to do. And they helped me get it done. And I did so much more than I would have ever imagined that I could do on a physical level and emotional, to be honest. So, what's holding you back? Are you moving through life in fear? You know, is fear holding you back from your amazing future? And one last thing, when I was at that conference with Dr. Weiss, you know, the universe always puts us with who we need to be with. And I sat by this beautiful woman who was just fairy energy. I mean, she looked like a fairy. She actually, she was just beautiful. And I even told her, I said, I am so grateful that the universe put me next to you because I know that I'm supposed to be with you during this week. And as I was getting these epiphanies through the week from meditations and past life regressions, I um, would bounce the ideas off her. And I said, this is what I saw and this is what I'm feeling. And she said the most profound thing to me. And it was so simple, and I'm sure I've heard it before, but I guess when I heard it from her, it's exactly when I needed to hear it. And she said, Julia, just, just make every decision based out of love instead of fear, and you can never make a wrong decision. That was so profound for me to hear at that very moment. And I realized, even in my situation, even though I still loved Michael very much, deeply, loved him deeply, I still do. I was staying with him out of fear of finding someone else, maybe. Fear of being alone. Fear of him making it without me. I really realized there was so much fear based in that relationship. Because although he was doing the best he could, he's an amazing man, it just wasn't enough for me. And after six years, um, I figured I should know if I'm extremely happy or not. So I based my fear out of love. I mean, I based my, I'm sorry, I based my decision out of love. And I decided to love myself enough to let go. And I've decided from that day forward that I am going to love myself first. That helps me even become more loving and give more love to others. So I am now stepping forward. I have taken this huge leap of faith. I am doing what I need to do every day. I'm doing my yoga outside, which is a beautiful. I'm doing my meditations. And I'm just asking God and my angels and guides to continue to lead the way and make sure that I see the signs. I know what I'm supposed to do. So I encourage you to take even tiny little leaps of faith. Just begin taking small leaps if you need to, if you're guided to. Because that truly is where the magic is waiting to happen. I love all of you. I am sending you all of my love and light. And may you receive your signs and messages clearly and easily. God bless. Namaste.